Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you very much for being an electrical. I really appreciate it. Now, uh, today I have this induction motor here, and uh, I would like to show you how you can do some tests on it using a multimeter. I know there are very many testing instruments out there, advanced one that you can use, but what if you have just a multimeter? So, with your multimeter, we can test a continuity test. Uh, that is, uh, you know, to see if the coil corresponds from U1, U2, uh, and so on. We can also test short circuit uh, to ensure that uh, the windings are not shorting to each other. Then we can also uh, test the ground to see if uh, one of the windings are not touching the ground. Okay? Uh, th then also, uh, we can see also uh, test the resistance to see if it is the same between uh, between the, the windings. Okay, so let's dive in and see if that's it. So follow along. <coughs> All right. Now you see uh, with this induction motor. Now you see that uh, we have six leads that are coming out, and uh, these leads are named. So in a well. Uh, a well-wired uh, motor, wound motor, uh, you find that uh, you find all the six leads are coming out are well labeled, so you are able to identify them either by color or by these numbers, the unique numbers. So you have U1, V1, W1, then you have U1, which must corresponds with U2, like that. That's why even you see that <coughs> some of them, the color are uh, same, you see. U2 is yellow and U1 is yellow. Okay, it'll help you to identify the wires, but in most instances where you find that uh, all, all the wires have same colors, so you have to use the multimeter to, to test. Okay, all right. So now, and the first thing now we are gonna do, since we have the twos and the ones, is to test the continuity test. Assuming there were no colors, how would you do that? Mm -hmm. So we will have a multimeter here, okay, and then we will have it in continuity. So the first thing you want to do is uh, to test between uh, U1 and uh, U2, and you hear that it continues. Then you will test between V1. at the resistance there see same then we go to w1 and w2 okay so we've tested uh, these all the coil ends to make sure that they contune Okay, uh, such that you, they will tell us they are healthy and they can continue. In case you test between uh, these terminals uh, and then there is no continuity, then definitely there is a blockage in that line and that motor would not work because it will single phase. Okay, then the other thing we can test the short circuit. So short circuit, uh, we have it, it help us to understand uh, even to know that there is uh, there, there is no internal connection between. Uh, help us to know that there is not a connection between uh, these coils. For example, uh, if I test between uh, U1 and U2 and it continues, and the same time I test between U1 and V2 and it continues, then that's a short circuit. Okay, so it shouldn't be there. So that means that we have to test U1 uh, to V1 to, U, to W1. Okay and uh, there is no continuity so that means that there is no short circuit okay then the other thing also we can test is uh, the ground so you have to test uh, all these coils and the ground because you know the process of winding and motor inserting these coils uh, inside the stator the stator slots sometimes it comes challenging you never know uh, it can be you know uh, a wire can be cut somewhere or even the insulation coming off and then it touches you know the stator so most definitely you will be <coughs> having some reading uh, between the the coil and the body, which shouldn't be there, okay? 
So you have to test on each coil with the body. So first of all, you have to make sure that your body uh, continues. You must try to tap tap somewhere. And then you make sure that it continues. Okay. So now we can test between U, U1. Then we can test between V1. We can test between W1. Okay. So that means that our motor is okay and is ready to be used. So that's it. That's how you can test your motor with uh, a multimeter. So uh, you can, you know, quick check up all that and then make sure that uh, before you connect your motor on, on power, you ensure that all those basic uh, uh, testings are done and uh, your motor is, you know, uh, ready to run. Okay. All right. So that has been it. I really thank you for being here. Until next time, I'm out.